Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I make hair, makeup and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today I'm talking about the Denman brush. I try out the Denman brush and I let you know if I like it or not. So if that sounds like something that you would want to watch, then keep on watching. Alright, so before we start this video, I have to say that it would be very important for us to establish a little baseline, which means that I'll use exactly the same products that I used in my last video where I showed you the curly curl routine that I follow. If you haven't seen that video, it's up there, here, somewhere, okay? It's up there. So exactly the same products. Wow Activated Charcoal and Keratin Shampoo and the Argan Oil, um, Moroccan Argan Hair Oil conditioner <laughs> really such a tongue twister i used exactly the same things when i showered i detangled and now we're here let's get to it for those of you who are asking no towel never again not if you're on the curly girl method my hair was already detangled in the shower i did exactly the same things and to answer a little question esther you asked me if i style in an ac room or if I, you know, style with the AC off. To just answer you very quick, I style in the shower. For the purposes of this video, I'm styling in front of you guys. But all of these things, essentially, if I didn't have a camera in front of me, then I would be doing all of this in the shower itself, which means hair would have been soaking wet. I'm taking the WOW Moroccan Argan Hair Oil Conditioner. I'm using one pump for each section. Again, mid-length to tip, break, whatever I have left on my hands will go to my roots. And then finally, I'll take the Denman brush. This is the 5 row Denman brush and let me just tell you that this brush is really small. I wasn't expecting it to be this small. So basically what I'll do is exactly the same thing that I did in my last video. I'm going to take vertical sections, I'm going to hold my hair 90 degrees, I'm going to take the Denman brush and I'm just going to comb through. Okay, these are the curl clumps that I'm getting. I must say all of the clumps are very very even with this brush. But what I can see is every clump that the brush is creating is exactly the same width, the same thickness. Yeah. Okay, I think I can see something. I think the hair is curling on its own. But let's just wait. We're not done just yet. Okay, so let me just finish the exact same thing on the other side and then I'll come back to tackle the top sections. So again, what I'm doing is, it's a vertical section and I'm just taking the brush and ribboning my hair out. What I'm noticing is, since this comb is so big, as in I have so much area to work with and the Denman brush is so small compared to it, all of the hair is not getting into the brush, so I feel like I'll need another section going this way. What I'm trying to say is, this is more work than I anticipated. Or rather, this is more work than using the comb. But let's see, if the results are good, then why not, right? Can you see how thin all of these clumps are? Another thing that is somewhat concerning to me just a little bit is that the clumps are looking very very thin and I generally like my curl clumps to be nice and thick you know that way it looks nice and shiny and together 
But anyway, hang on. We'll see. Let's see what the results are. What you'll also notice is the edges of this brush are sort of circular. There are no straight or flat edges, which means it's easier for me to do the ribboning. I don't know if you guys can see everything that I'm doing, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it and I'm ribboning my hair out that way with this brush. And I'm noticing that that is, that is the one thing that's becoming very easy with this brush. So, mixed feelings so far. Let's see. Okay, it's impossible to show you guys what's happening on the top because there isn't, or rather, I don't have a lens that is wide enough so that you can get the full picture. My hair is, when it is wet, it's below my belly button. My hair is really, really long. So you're not going to be able to see me styling all sides. But hang on with me. Just understand what I'm doing. Sticking my hair, I'm lifting it. I'm lifting it up this way, twisting it and then letting it go. And then gently letting it go. Okay, so I'm losing my patience a little bit because this is taking really long. It's a very lengthy process and I'm also starting to see frizz on my hair. And you guys know that if it is frizzy when it's wet, then it's going to be frizzy when it's dry. But yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. And since this is taking so long, my hair is also starting to dry. So I'm keeping on re-wetting it. What I'm noticing with this brush is that your sections have to be really, really thin. When I used this comb, my sections were much thicker, which means that the process was much faster. But since I'm using this brush and the brush is much smaller, obviously four sections became six. And now even the size of the sections has become really, really small. Okay, this frizzy area is really irritating me. What is happening is the product is in my hair, right? And my hair is drying out. And I'm not going to be able to hold it in place with the gel until I finish styling. Which means that if the styling takes really long, my hair is going to lose moisture and it's going to start drying. Which means it's going to frizz up because without the gel, obviously, my hair is going to be frizzy. So I'll have to move really, really fast with this last section. Okay, this frizz is not happening. It is looking so frizzy here. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm going to isolate this frizzy area and I'm gonna style it again because uh, this is just not it, sis. Am I gonna be the only one who doesn't like the Denman brush? My doggy wants to come into the room. So like I always do, I'm going to use gel now. And for gel, I'm using the Enliven gel in the keratin variant. I'm going to flip my hair over. I'm going to touch my hair with the gel. Then I'm going to glaze my hair using praying hands. And then I'm going to squish or scrunch, whatever you want to call it. And some people were asking me if you're going to get good results without gel i would say that listen i use gel maybe one day i'll make a video where i style my hair without using gel and then we'll see the difference since we've already established a very good baseline hi baby i'm sorry Now that I'm done putting the gel into my hair, I'm going to plop, I'm going to air dry my hair exactly the same way and I'll be back when my hair is dry. Hey guys, so I'm back and my hair is dry. It's time to scrunch out the crunch. Right off the bat, what is this volume? 
and I'm not even done. Whoa, hang on. Oh, there you are. I'm not even done scrunching out the crunch. And do I love the Denman brush? Are you looking at this? All right, so I'm done scrunching out the crunch and right off the bat, I have to say that there is so much volume. There is so much volume. I mean, on day one, I don't see this kind of volume on my hair ever. However, closer look, definition, yes, 100%. Lots of definition. Look at these curls. They're absolutely beautiful. In fact, they've curled up more. I can see my hairs forming like these ringlets, which is which means that the ribboning technique with the Denman brush definitely worked. However, I see a lot of frizz. Like if you can see here, there's a lot of frizz here. There's a lot of frizz here. Um, I see a lot of definition here. But I think the parts where my hair dried out before I got a chance to style it, I think a lot of frizz formed. I think this also answers the question that can you get these results without gel? I would say no, because if your hair dries before you have a chance to put the gel and the gel is what keeps the hair in place while it's drying, right? So I think if you don't use that gel, then your hair will feel more frizzy when it dries. Yeah, that's what I think. So let's recap. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. When it comes to the pros, I would say that volume, A+. Plus. I love the volume. Definition, for sure. I think my hair looks curlier. And definitely more defined. Cons. I think the Denman brush is a little more work. Okay, not a little more work, a lot more work, which means you're gonna be styling your hair for a really long time. Generally, it takes me five minutes to style and I'm done. So the Denman brush is definitely a lot more work and frizz. Mm, yeah. Can you look at this section? Can you look at this area in general? It looks a little extra frizzy to me. Yeah, it looks a little extra frizzy to me. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Uh, it takes a lot of time. You have to be really quick with it. There's a lot of sectioning. There's a lot of maneuvering around this way and that way. So yeah, it's a lot of work. So I would say if you're using the Denman brush, then make sure your hair is really, really wet and you work relatively fast. I think if you do that, then maybe the frizz wouldn't be as bad. Another con? curl clumps. Now, if you look at my curl clumps here, let me, let, let me come really close. Let's take this one clump here. As you can see, there are two clumps stuck together. Now, if I take this apart very gently without causing any frizz, This is the size of one curl clump with the Den Denman brush. And if you look at my hair all over, you will see that there are some areas where two of the clumps are stuck together and the rest, there's like a single clump. This definitely makes my 2B hair look a little stringy, as in the curl clumps are not nice and thick and defined. Uh, a lot of people say that since this has five rows, you can take out two rows because this brush comes apart. This part can be taken out and you can remove some rows. So I think when it comes to the curl clumps not being that thick, you can take out some rows and then you can see if your curl clumps are bigger. So I would definitely try this brush again with the three rows, taking out the two. And yeah, maybe we'll give this another go. Am I happy with my results? Um, yeah, I, I like the volume. This looks like this looks like day two volume for me. But my hair looks really dry in certain areas. Yeah, this is 
I'm I'm not I'm not used to this happening to my hair. So I would say if you're styling with a Denman brush, be super fast. Maybe I was explaining and I was styling, which is why it took me a little more time. So yeah. In conclusion, I would say I'd probably have to try out this brush a few more times before saying if I love it or I hate it and I'll throw it away and never use it again. <laughs> no, I won't throw it away. That's a lot of frizz. I'm okay with frizz like this on day two and day three and day four, but not day one. Day one is when my hair feels really nice and defined. Can you can you see this? Can you can you see what I'm talking about? I've lost that shine. I've lost that moisture. Ah. Uh, I don't know guys, mixed feelings. I love certain aspects of this brush and I don't like certain aspects of this brush. So maybe I'll give it another try because uh, there are a lot of times where I'll try something for the first time and I'll hate it and then I'll try it a few more times and then I'll love it. So uh, I guess I'll, I need to try this out a few more times before I can make a definitive decision on whether I like this or not. But you guys tell me in the comments, do you like the way my hair looks? Okay, that section is going to drive me crazy. I think I want to refresh that section. As you can see, if you have a failed wash day and there are certain sections of your hair that are not looking great and are looking dry and you don't like the look of it, you don't have to refresh all of your hair. Remember, hydral fatigue, we're trying to prevent that, okay? Don't keep washing and drying your hair all the time, okay? It causes you harm. What I'll do now is, I think I'll take these sections, I'll wet them, I'll put conditioner, not wet them, get them wet. Every time I hear myself saying wet them, I cringe so hard, okay? I think I've just heard it so many times that it sort of normalized uh, that phrase for me. Anyway, uh, what I'll do is, I'll get this wet, I'll put some conditioner on it, I'll put some gel on it, I will just crunch it and I will let it dry and I'm sure that is going to repair this little dry patch that we have. Alright, that was it. This was the video. I tried the Denman brush. Do I like it? I'm not that sure but I will try it again and a few more times after that and then I'll update you guys in the comments. If you like this video and you gained some value from it and you had no idea what the Denman brush was and you're happy that I showed this to you and you know about this now, you know of its existence, okay? Then subscribe to my channel, like, share, subscribe, do all of that, ring the little bell, ow! Ring the little bell, ding! Okay, do that so that you're notified every time I make a video. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one.